Tom, they always say the sky's the limit, but there's no limits when it comes to Tom Brown, right? <laughs> what no. a re triumphant return to New York. Tell Thank me you. all about this. Thank you. Yeah, I was just telling that 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 kid story of the Little Prince in an adult way. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, creating the fantasy and you know coming back to New York and you know making sure that New York you know, sees what I do. And you know, I do this, and it all starts from this. It starts from the creative, mm -hmm. the kind of, I guess, energy that I want everybody to see, and mm -hmm. um, and I love doing it. Why the Liberty Prince? How do you get there? I, I, I give the credit to Megan Sullivan, who is a, a okay. professor that um, I met at Notre Dame when I went back this past fall. And she quoted the story um, when we were having drinks, and there was something that was just so beautiful, and we were all moved by it. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful story to reread as an adult and to get the adult kind of meaning in the story. And, and then starting from there. Can you talk to me about the construction of the garments, especially at the beginning, there were the column dresses with the different graphics, it was great. Yeah, I mean, playing with the characters in the story, doing the initially just the beautifully handed Tarja, mm -hmm. you know, dresses at the beginning with the long nails and playing with that. I love that. And then the, the two sections, really the tailored mm -hmm. pieces that were more the adults that, you know, see things more, I guess, more strictly. And then the kids that saw the tailoring more um, conceptual and really played with it, but all based in the developed tweeds of, of the collections. And, mm -hmm. um, and then the embroidery was, you know, it was a lot of work in the collection. What was fabulous was all the deconstruction, that there were one, it was one piece, right? It was yeah. all sewn together. Yeah. But then in the finale, you took that off and you saw those beautiful dresses. Can you talk to me about that process? It was important to, of course, the conceptual tailored. Mm -hmm. Pieces, but it was the shape of the dresses on both the men and the women, which mm -hmm. was really based, basically the same dress. Oh my god, I forgot the men and women. Yeah, I couldn't. And that's what, you know, my collections have evolved in ways that I don't really see men and women anymore. It's all just a beautiful world of beautifully constructed and beautifully tailored and fit clothing. Mm -hmm. that it just feels good. My mission is to to make sure that creativity starts is the start of everything, and that um, commercial success is never at the expense of creativity.